where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, okay, they're going then. <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her done. <laughs> All right. Good day, everyone. It is just about 12 o'clock here today, and uh, I'm heading up to the old marble digging site. Uh, I'm not sure it may be drying up there. I've got, I must have dug a couple hundred marbles out of there so far. It's like a 50 site, but there's been some interesting finds coming out of it lately, and uh, it's just calling my name. It's a bit of a drive to get there, but I think it's going to be worthwhile. And uh, well, I'm on my way in here now, folks. And besides this patch down here that I've been digging in, I also want to explore further down and around that way. So there's some old trails and stuff around here too, so you never know, there might be other spots as well to check out. Alright, well, I'll get you back up in a minute. Well, I'm here on the patch, folks, and like I say, I'm not sure how many more marbles I'm going to get out of here, but here's the first good find, which is a marble. It's another one of those Nice patched ones, orange, green, and yellow. I got several of these out of here, exact, exactly like this. So there's one more for the jar. Let's see if there's any more right here where that one come out. I'm not seeing any right away. See, they're getting fewer and far between now. But that doesn't mean that I won't get into another big patch of them, so hang tight. Well, like I say, folks, it's easy to miss these marbles, that's for sure. If you're digging away, sometimes you get to stop, stop back, and have a look. And here's one right here that I had uh, behind me in my tailings pile that I flicked out and never even noticed. And check it out, it's a nice one. Well, it's got like pink and red, orange. Yeah, real nice. Swirly. Check out the colors on that. So here's this marble here, folks. I just want to show this real quick. And I can see uh, under the magnifier there, definitely needs to be cleaned up a little bit better. But isn't that spectacular? Look at the colors on that. Wow. Yep, that is a nice marble. So there that is. And then I want to show this real quick. I showed this in that uh, mudlarkin video I did recently. Cleaned up. This was uh, I dug this up in the previous digging video. And I know some of my viewers only watch the digging video, so they may not have a chance to see it cleaned up yet. So there it is. Look how shiny that turned out. That's a 1950 solid brass Italian-made corkscrew. And uh, she even turns. Real nice. I'm going to try that out on the next bottle of wine Jane and I open. So there that is, folks. Oh, Let's get back on site and get some more marbles. Well, this could be an interesting find, folks. I haven't picked it up yet. Just sort of flicked it out. I can see right away that it's a uh, plastic spoon, but sometimes they got like a business name or even a drugstore or something on them. I think this one did. I can't... Uh... Yeah, it's, it's embossed. Or engraved, rather. Can't quite make out what it says, though. I think it says something lounge. King Street Lounge. New York City. 234 W40 Street. NYC. Kilo's Rest and Lounge. Neato. It's in good condition too. We've got a martini glass up on the top. Yeah, I think I'll keep that. That's a nice little, nice little piece of history. 
Okay, so right behind me, folks, I think you can see my footprint right here. What's this here? Is that a marble? No, it's a bead off something. There's a little hook on it there, too, see? Well, after about 15 minutes of digging, folks, I think I got another marble in here. Where'd it go? Right here. Just looks like a cat eye, though. Oh, let's pull it out. Okay, well, it's a... Actually, it's a nice one. Green, yellow, and white. Nothing uh, spectacular, though. It's in good condition, if that counts for anything. Kind of hoping to get into some more older stuff here, but... Or a patch of marbles, or some more toys. Something, but so far, not much is coming out. You know, I got one salt shaker lid that I might keep. That would fit on something like that, I'm sure. Okay, I got another utensil right there, folks. Only that looks like a metal one. It's all curled up. What the heck? Is that supposed to be that way? You know what? I think I'm going to leave that just like that. And I'll try to clean it up and it might be silver. I think it is. I think that is silver. Could just be silver plated, but I'll get it cleaned up and uh, show you sooner or later here. There's a marking inside there. I don't know what it says, though. I can't tell from here. Awful light, but it's thin, too. Well, I'm hitting the patch pretty hard here, folks. Findings are slim. And I think I got a yellow marble down in the hole here. I haven't even picked it up yet. I don't even know if it's a marble. It might be a bead. No, it's a marble. Yellow and white. Hmm. Yeah, they're scattered here now. All right, well, it's a find anyways. Better than nothing. Well, I think I just scratched out two more marbles, folks. See, I got spoiled digging here in the past. <laughs> I'm just expecting them to fall right in my lap. <laughs> There's one right here. All right. Yeah, speaking of getting spoiled, there's one of those Girl Scout marbles. And it looks to be perfect, of course. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And here's another one of those ones. Yellow, oh, yellow, green, and blue patched ones. All right, that Girl Scout is awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me do a little more scratching right here. They just, they come out right here. Maybe there's a few more right here. Just go lightly. Just gotta kinda paw through this stuff. Use the scratcher like it's an extension of my hand. No, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, so I'll put these in my pocket before I lose them. Okay, so here this spoon is here, folks. And uh, I didn't bother cleaning it up a whole lot. I just cleaned it up enough to see that it is silver plated. So I didn't bother going any further with it. But it's too bad because it would have been a nice spoon. So this is probably going to be the final dig from this site at least for a while however recently got into another site and uh the marbles are coming out of that not 70 and 80 at a time like at this site but they're coming out consistently so that's a good thing got a couple digs out of it so far here's this girl scout marble that is a beautiful looking marble too nice color to that wow Good stuff. There's that, uh, I think this is a pincher. 
yellow and white pincher. All right, let's get back in the hole. Just scratch this fella here out. He's a pretty good sized one. I'm gonna have to relocate him before I scratch him up or crush him. Yellow spotted salamander. Yeah. All right, let's put him over here somewhere. Down in there. You know, I was just thinking, folks, I'm surprised I'm not finding more quality finds in here. I've been going over in my mind all the sites I'd been to in the past several years that I may have just not dug because of uh, them being too uh, new, but now I'm thinking I might go back and check them out. A little pocket watch. Glass and hands are missing off the face of it, but... Well, we got one more marble. I see folks right here on the surface. White and red one. Yeah, that's nice. That's real nice. Solid patch. Breaks into two bands goes entirely the way or whole way around it joins the other side of the patch neato hmm what would be the chances of finding another patch of marbles right here probably slim can always dream though <laughs> well if i can cry or that's broke folks Little uh, made in Japan ashtray, some gold gild on it. But other than that, I think I got a, I got a coin right here. I would say it's just a penny. Yeah, I can't quite make out the year on it. Put it in my pocket though and uh, check it out. Maybe 1947. Can we see that? Yeah, I think it is 1947. Well, there's like a little paint bottle or something there. It's got some silver paint in it. And down here's a got an aspirin bottle, side embossed. Got this big thing here. So I thought I'd get you up while I pull that out, see if anything's in it or under it. Not seeing, not seeing much there at the moment. Part to a pen. Anything inside here? Nah, doesn't look doesn't look like anything. Piece of green foil. Foiled again. Yeah, no marbles. Well, I just started digging another little test hole right here, folks, before getting out of here. And lo and behold, I got a marble in it. I was going to say this place is pretty much played out for marbles, but there's another one. Not sure how much longer I'm going to stay here. I think I'll get out of here and hit another spot. It just seems to be a lot of work right now, and um, nothing's really coming out, so we'll see what happens. See you on the next clip. Okay, folks, real quick here. Uh, these are all the finds from this video. We got two Canadian pennies in 1943 and a 1947. We got nine marbles. This one's all melted up, which is a shame because it would have been a nice one. I want to show you this. Save this coin for post coinorama prizes. I thought post was going to be like a post cereal, but it uh, turns out coinorama is some sort of antique coin event. So likely has something to do with that. Does anybody recognize that? This side is just uh, French. So, there that is. Thanks for watching, folks. Thumbs up, comment down below. See you all on the next one. Where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, where the kids are going then? <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her done. <laughs>